this was something people were quite literally, uh, like I say, begging, but like very interested in covering. And I'll tell yeah. you what, mm -hmm. we yeah. don't, normally don't get into domestic politics, but I did want to weigh in on this because I think there's um, there's some some stuff you can walk away from with this to have a more informed opinion. I agree. So there is a thing that I was reading, and it's uh, from Repre House of Representatives in California. I called, thought that was that meant Republican. No, that's just representative yeah. rep. Rep, uh, Judy Chu, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, well, very. I looked into her, very well accomplished politician, right? Sure. She, uh, ethnically Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, I am target of the rights of new McCarthyism. I actually sympathized with her deeply in the article, not about the partisan politics, I don't give a shit about partisan politics, sure. if I'm totally honest with you, mm -hmm. um, but more so the finger pointing based on ethnicity as a cheap shot. I think it's bullshit, yeah. and I yeah, hate that. Yeah, I agree. Doesn't matter where you're from. That America's not to quote the uh, the Yip Man Four movie, <laughs> yeah. but America is a country of immigrants, everyone included, um, and everyone belongs here, right? Well, you know, only if your people have been there for generations. What do you mean? That's what she said. Oh, sorry, you're finishing the quote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, anyway, only in, in the Native Americans are the real Americans. Yes. Don't forget that. So I was looking into this because I was I was agreeing um, with her sentiments here because of some bullshit Tucker Carlson was bullying and some other bullshit, you know, you know, shock jock type people. Sure. That people take verbatim for news. Mm -hmm. And I, and I was agreeing. I mean, they were not pulling out any sort of uh, accusations of her being CCP tied that, that hold any weight. Right. Yeah. But what did what I what I thought was very bad about something she didn't address Mm -hmm. with some things that are publicly available that are right out there on the internet, right? And I do hope that her cabinet can address this because I do think the accusations were unfair, the mm -hmm. ones that were made. Yeah. But there are ones out there that I think do hold water and she did not acknowledge these, right? Sure. In this whole thing about, oh, you know, it's unfair targeting me based on being Asian, Asian hate attacks, all this kind of stuff that I agree with. Yeah, of course. Um, this is the... Uh, Forum for Peaceful Reunification of China, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is this is where I take some issue. Yeah. This is a body. They, uh, they presented a certificate to that her. presented a certificate to her. And to made her an Judy honorary, Chu, yeah. to be our uh, honor, president. honor president. Well, that means honorary. Yeah. Right. In recognition of your outstanding friendship and support. So okay. here's my issue with this, is that let's, before I get into what this organization is, I want you to, I, would, I hope you agree with me that if someone hands you something and makes you an honor or anything, it doesn't make you complicit in something, sure. right? Like if you handed me something and said, uh, you are the honorary, um, chap you're the honorary chapter captain of my football club. Right. And it turns out your football club's actually some like KKK organization. Sure. I'm gonna be like, what? I didn't know that. It's bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. That's not necessarily my fault, right? Sure. By the way, that didn't happen. I just no, it never shit. happened. I mean, anyway, I would never invite you to my football club. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. That's just how friendly you are. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so that's not an accusation of anything. What this is yeah. is that I would hope mm -hmm. in face when you're being faced with some sort of uh, criticism based on your CCP ties, which I don't know that there are any. Yeah. Um, you would address something like this because this is not this is not a good look because no. um, this is actually a branch of the China Center for the Promotion of Peaceful National Reunification, right? Yeah. And this is a very, very, very bad organization. And I don't need to tell you why because you could probably glean that from the title. Yes. This is an organization from the Chinese government that operates under the United Front. Can yeah. you tell everyone what the United the Front United is? The United Front is chi China's organization that goes out there um and meddles in politics around the world and meddles in well internationally to change narratives and they're for instance they're in charge of the confucius institutes they're in charge of um uh bribing officials and government and they involved in all these really terrible organizations that go out there to try and promote china's narrative yeah yeah but they're very in depth and they're embedded in all governments around the world and in all the universities and stuff, they find ways into them. And you can always trace it back to the United Front. That's their job. You, it's like international influence campaign. You've done a good job, but I think you're also just downplaying it slightly. But yeah. it is one of the most nefarious groups out there. It's yeah. not just education. Sure. 
It is the group in China that is responsible for manipulating and infiltrating governments. Yeah, that's right? what I said there. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I could have said it better. No, no, you said, said it said great. It you said yeah. it great. But it's not just, I'm not talking about getting into the leadership of like universities and stuff. This goes all the way to the top. It's like, it's kind of like having secret agents go into your country's government and try to win people over. And Australia's people. got a huge problem huge with the problem, United right? Front. Yeah. So that thing that they presented her with is a branch of this organization on the United yeah. Front, right? Yeah. Big, big problem here. Now, again, making someone an honorary person doesn't mean that she necessarily well, agreed with it. But, but did you see that in the certificate it says for all of your, your friendship and support? So she supports them. That's, uh, again... Yeah, I would need some sort of evidence that she did do that. Right, because you could write that all you want, right? But then it got a little bit all it got a little bit weirder. Okay, because the more you look into this, by the way, I just wanted to show you um, the cited sources here. Okay, right? so in the United States, multiple local councils exist, and a national level council is registered as a nonprofit called the National Association for China's Peaceful Unification. Okay. Mm-hmm. The National Association for China's Peaceful Unification, remember, that is to take back Taiwan mm-hmm. by any means, by the way. Yeah. It says peaceful in the title, but literally the Chinese government says it doesn't matter what they do, they'll get Taiwan. Yeah, back. exactly. Uh, a sentiment that would shock Taiwanese people to the core, especially Taiwanese people living in America, by the way, mm-hmm. to see somebody accepting something like that. That's also registered under the FARA, Foreign Agents Registration Act. So the Foreign Agents Registration Act is an act that if you're a foreign government, you again, America has freedom of speech. You can literally do or say whatever you want. The CCP can go here and operate propaganda news outlets in America. As long and as they, they registered as yes. such. But they have to register as such so that you can go on this document called FARA and say, mm-hmm. oh, yep, see CGTN, which is registered. Yeah. CGTN America, Chinese propaganda, Chinese, you know, the Chinese uh, media is registered under the FAR Act, right? Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, what do you call those, like, sex crime people? What do you call that? That you also get on a list? What's a sex offenders list? Yeah, sex offenders. <laughs> yes. What? It is. Just, you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean it's nefarious. It's just yeah, that you but, know but what it like is. But it's like, you know right? what it is. Like, yeah. if your neighbor is on, like, the sex offenders <laughs> list, you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> probably don't let kids around him, right? You're okay. on the far list. Probably don't take their propaganda seriously. Is what but I'm far saying. is not only the CCP. It's any yeah, any. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It could be Russia. Be a democratic government yeah, but too. still, yeah. like you know, you get in this information from them, and you're like, hmm, yes, that's some very interesting, compelling thought. Let's see. Oh, they are registered as a foreign agent. Maybe and then I you should find be, out what country is sponsoring yeah, that. Maybe like, oh, this thing that I'm reading from Iran or whatever is probably going to be biased against sure. America. Sure. Sure. Um, so it's so, like a sex offenders list, but for governments. Yes, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. But yes. if it says the Chinese government is running this organization, then you could probably assume it has deep propaganda purposes. Sure. Anyway, uh, it says... Um, in 2019? In 2019, the U.S. Congressional Representative Judy Chu, and that's the woman in question, yeah. was named an honorary chairwoman of a branch council called the Forums for Peaceful Reunification of China, an organization opposed to Taiwanese independence, which... Yes. For me, I think it's one of those things where you, if I was in that position and I found out later what that was. Yeah. Again, this is the benefit of the doubt. Sure. Uh, if I found out what that was and then an interview came up where people are allegating certain things, I would put it to bed real quick and yeah. say, hey, this was given to me and I have absolutely nothing to do with this. I support the, mm-hmm. you know, the beliefs of everyone in America, yeah. right? This yeah. is a free country where anyone can believe what they want. To me, if I was going to accept this and then not talk about it, it would shock the hell out of me if I was a Taiwanese person living in the U.S. Sure. Um, or a Chinese dissident or someone that doesn't support the Chinese government to mm. see a politician looking like they're accepting an, an, some sort of award or something like this from an organization of a government that's trying to destroy that country. I mean, look, I don't like that idea. I'm pretty sure China doesn't like the idea of their officials accepting honorary chairmanships from the CIA or whatever. That would be... Or from, you know, yeah, MK I mean, the, Ultra the United or Front would be kind of similar, I guess, to the CIA. It is. Yeah. It is. So, I mean, it's the same thing. It's an organization that's out there to influence the rest of the world. Yes. And their politics and stuff, so... So it says, uh, and this this got weird, right? In yeah. 2012, a Chinese spy named Christine Fang, um, you guys probably remember this story. She was basically a spy that, well, an alleged spy that was sent over. No, she was a spy. Yeah, but she, it was alleged because she never got to oh, stand she, trial. Yeah, she, she, she ran, she, trial. she escaped. She's the one that was sleeping with all those mayors and stuff. Yes, correct. And getting all the intelligence. 
You know, you know the one. Yeah. So she was CCP spy, alleged yeah. because she never stood trial. I say alleged only because it's semantics, right? Yeah. I don't uh, have to follow you the you know the word of the Lord. I'll just call her a, a, a spy. I can call her whatever. I can call her a purple a elephant. Doesn't yeah. matter. I'm just saying. I'm trying to be yeah. professional here. Yeah. Yeah. Be professional. I'll uh, be unprofessional on this. Okay. One. Cool. She's we'll a spy. balance it out. Right. A spy. <laughs> anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So she got caught sleeping around with a bunch of uh, trying to influence politics. She did influence. Pro- she got and no, she got access to very privileged information. Correct, but what effect that has now? We don't know because she didn't stand trial. We can't figure it out yet. Right? Sure, sure. In 2022, uh, U.S. National Counterintelligence Secu- and Security Center issued a warning, noticing that state and local leaders, citing the NACPU, the Chinese People's Association for Friendship and for- with Foreign Countries. Uh, and the United Front Work Department. Now go to the next slide. Let's have a okay. Look at this. By the way, this yeah. is the uh, website for the China Council for Promotion of Peaceful National Unification. Just in case you had any speculation so this about is what it she's, being a CCP. With. She's the honorary chairwoman of this organization. Uh, no, this the branch organization yeah. of this, which is yeah. which is affiliated. Which is with this? It's under FARA. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love. They always have to have the white doves, man. Gotta have the white doves. That's mm-hmm. how you promote peaceful reunification with guns and missiles pointed at Taiwan currently and encouraging and firing missiles and into firing the sea mis- and missiles into the sea yeah. and flying jets over their thing and cutting off their internet to Matsu Islands. Yes, exactly. Anyway, That's what you do. Just, just in case. Okay. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so we got that there. Um, so yeah, this is Christine Fang. She was. That's the spy that yeah. we were talking so about. Alleged was, spy. She was affiliated with people across the board. Yeah, right? this this alleged water is allegedly wet. You know. That alleged spy. Mm. Um, I mean, she's a freaking spy. She's let's a be spy. Honest. Yeah. I'm just trying to be a good yeah, guy here. You dude. could be a good guy. What if she was just a? Re- she's a reform spy, and she now she goes to church. <laughs> just joking. She wouldn't have <laughs> ran away. No, she wouldn't have ran away. Yeah. She'd stand trial in the face of the law. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Christine Fong was, uh, you know, she was donating to some of these campaigns, right? There she is with the the representative Chu over there. And she she did donate to her campaign. Right? Yeah, she, she did, did donate. Chew. Yeah. Uh, so this was coming under fire, right? Because mm. this is like, but I mean, a lot of people got involved with this, right? You don't even, you don't know that that person's a spy at the time, yeah. right? So, I mean... I, I want to couch something here because rem- remember Representative Chu, uh, immediately when people start to ask her about this, she claims racism and anti-Asian hate and stuff, right? Yeah. But if you ask this, whatever this, I think that fat dude up there was <coughs> sleeping with Feng Feng. I think so. I could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. Dude. I know I know for sure there was a guy that looked like him. Yeah, sure. was involved. Maybe. And so is that other guy up there. If you start to ask him about this, he's not going to like go anti-Asian, ra- you know, racism, anti-Asian sure. hate. Because sure. what you're doing is you're like, hey, listen, you're kind of got dealings with a Chinese spy. Right. right? Guys, chill out in the chat. Why? What are they doing? She didn't sleep with Chu. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure anyway. she didn't. Yeah. Anyway, comedy aside, yes. getting back to the serious nitty gritty about this. Mm-hmm. Um, this, I wanted to point something out, very yeah. important, because you're going to get a ton of people see see the Democrats, see the Republicans. Everyone does this. You know, right, right, our right. our audience is very split down the middle. Like yeah. there's a lot of right wingers, a lot of left wingers, a lot of people in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. I'd like to hope people can meet somewhere in the middle and have a beer and, together. And, well, I mean, here's at the end of the day, whether you're right wing or left wing or anything in between, it doesn't change the way I think about you. Like no. I respect people for having Absolutely. their own opinions yeah. and their own views on life, you know, and I don't let that get in the way of actually having a dialogue with people. So, yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, Fung Fung. Fung, she helped uh, support, remember this Tulsi Gabbard woman uh, that was in Hawaii, right? She was sponsoring people across the board, right? Trying to get... So she helped with a fundraiser for yeah. Tulsi Gabbard um, in by 2013. The way, this, this, this I just threw in there for a reason. Okay, why? Go to the next slide. Okay. This is a Chinese spy that helped fund this, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> she, what did she, she went do? to the Rage Against the War Machine thing. Uh, Come we, on. we covered this in the last episode. There was this outlandish mm. freaking what looked to be a Russia-China protest sponsored by the People's Party. Which is and the, the Communist Party. Yeah, yeah Communist-type party. Mixed with the Libertarian Party, came together and had tankies mm-hmm. from this like CCP sympathizers and Russia, Russia sympathizers, sympathizers yeah. speak... And so she was speaking here, just kind of 
kind of add it all up. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. You know, she's got a Chinese spy doing fundraisers for her, and then she ends up doing this thing, yeah, which it's, is... Yeah, it's uh, interesting. I honestly think you yeah. can, you know... You could dig deep, and you could figure it out. There she was. I, yeah. I love the back, right behind her, you have the uh, Xi Jinping and Putin on the billboard there, which is just fantastic. It's, exactly. This is what you're uh, speaking at. Anyway, that was a whole, a whole, uh, a whole thing. Uh, the most important thing is that I would hope after all this, because this has become a massive thing. So people mm. sent me the MSNBC interview. Sure. I tacitly agreed with her points, looked around myself, threw out a lot of these allegations because it's bullshit partisan stuff. Yeah. And then started seeing through that and saying, not necessarily compromise, but this I think this person as a politician, it would serve in her best interest and anyone's best interest, really, to be more transparent about yeah. the, the things that you have accepted, right? Or have, Yeah, you, you need to put this to bed. If you're the bed. honorary chair, first of all, you're hanging out with uh, Chinese spies, okay? That's whatever. You don't Maybe know. you didn't you know. I mean, that no one knew. Most, right? people Most people didn't know. Most people were like, okay, she's probably a spy, but so what, you know? Because yeah. they're having a thing. This... Okay, is not something you don't that you ignore. Okay, yeah. this is if you didn't know what it was. Yeah, right. This is connected directly to the United Front. Yeah. Okay, we've shown you the proof. It's cited. It's on. You can find the information out there. But this particular organization accepting her as an honorary, um, you know, chairwoman or whatever, because of her outstanding friendship and support. So in that certificate itself, it shows that she supports them and is very friendly towards them I at the very least. Don't give a shit. Where you're from, what your ethnic yeah. background is, what anything. I yeah. don't care. What I do care about is the thousands and thousands and thousands of Chinese people that take refuge here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. that live on not only under asylum visas, but mm -hmm. people that are escaping the persecution of the Ch Communist Party of China, yeah. the Taiwanese people that are here living in a free country like their own, yeah. right? Expecting protection mm -hmm. against the united front. So that is what I do not like to see. And I hope something comes out of it where they say, I had absolutely no idea what this was. Yeah. I don't support this. And I support everyone's right to believe in what they want to believe. Because yeah. this is a very nefarious organization that is quite literally the United Front. Yep. The end. And this is not something you want in your local politics. No. You don't want the influence no. of the Chinese government in your local no. politics. No. Yeah. So, no. I mean, it's just the way it is, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>